Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pinari, so welcome back to another live stream of Death Stranding. We're gonna just jump back in and continue with the story. So, if I remember correctly, the last place we left off, we were in our room, and we were getting ready to do a job for the Bridge Bridges Corporation. And they want us to basically reconnect America, whatever that means. Now, the way I see it, they want us to connect these, I'm going to call them phone lines, but I could be wrong with that. But we'll see, we'll see if that's exactly what they want us to do. And we also found out that Sam is something called a repatriate, which basically means he can't die, which is actually pretty cool. Now, I'm thinking that there are other repatriates around based on the fact that they have a name for whatever Sam is. So we'll see if we come into contact with any other repatriates. That would be interesting. And we've also paired up with this uh, BB. I forget the number of the BB. I think it was like 128 or something. But I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But I'm definitely interested to check around this room. So we'll see. We couldn't use any of the stuff the first time we were in the room. But I think that a lot of the stuff was fixed. At least by the end of the last stream. So we'll be able to look at some of this stuff. Lose too much blood and you you will become anemic. Your movements will become sluggish. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. All right, let's resume the game. Prepare to make a delivery. Okay, yeah, and we also have to do this in order to save this Amelie lady, who Sam has some type of history with. Okay, we got even more action figures this time, or figures, because before we just had these ones here, this car and... Oh, I actually think this is part of... This is representative of this, our progress in the story, because I'm pretty sure this here is supposed to be Sam in the Igor, or Igor dude, in the car when we got attacked by whatever the hell that huge BT was when that nuke went off. And this is definitely right here, Sam and the incinerator mission we just did. And all the BTs that were around us then. So I'm thinking that these will upgrade or update as we continue along with the game. That's interesting. Alright, so we gotta keep an eye out for some new figures. So let's see, what else do we have here? I know we have the terminal here. Let's see if there's anything new in the terminal. Let's see. Okay, just tips. Okay, anemia. That's a new tip that we just saw. So it seems that tips that come on loading screens will pop up there as well. Alright, I don't think we have anything else to do there. Orders. What was that for orders? View active orders. Okay, we don't have anything. Data, music player, play music you have acquired. Oh, we can find music in the world? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are the the music pieces that played in the first, the first stream. I'm sure we'll hear these as we're going along. Alright. Let's see, let's go. I guess we might as well max out our stamina before we get moving. So let's go ahead and take the rest of this. Oh, we only have two left. Interesting. So I wonder if Dead Man or somebody else will come and refill these. Did it go up? Okay, our stamina didn't go up. I'm guessing our stamina's already maxed. Alright, just throw on the, sun, the sunglasses. So we kind of wasted one of our monster energy drinks. Oh well. I thought because of the last mission it went down. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what else we got. We could take a shower. Or we could check out some of these outfits. Let's see, check on BB. Examine equipment rack. Examine weapon rack. All right, let's examine the weapon rack. Hey there. Believe we've met. 
I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. Thank you. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. Oh. Okay. Can I get a closer look at that? I didn't get a chance to read that. I didn't want to interrupt her. So these strands are my blood. Okay. How exactly do they make these strands? Move left, move right. So can I choose which one of these to wear? I'm gonna assume not. Probably gonna choose the black one or the red one. Alright, let's check on the BB. Or do I have to go back to the bed first? Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just a best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Okay. Soothe BB. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move camera, zoom in. BB looks happy. Okay, that's cool. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel. Red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Oh, so I, I can't choose the suit. So I'm guessing that we'll be using the blue one, I think they said was for delivery. Change color scheme. Ooh, the glasses. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Stealth black, snow white. This looks cool. Bridges orange, navy blue, blood red, signal green, prismatic purple. I wonder if we can get any other colors. Uh, let's see. What do I like? I think I might go for either the white or black. Navy blue is kind of cool. You know what? Let's go for navy blue. And let's change the lens colors. Yeah, let's go for this. Let's go for blue and clear. All right, confirm. All right, cool. All right, I think that's everything in this room besides a shower. Oh, so we didn't even have to go back to our bed. All right, so let's take a shower and I guess use the bathroom and then let's get out of here. All right, shower. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dooms and repatriates. The shower in your room was designed with chiral decontamination in mind. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelian contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. I should add that these showers have another function. The collection of blood, hair, fluids, and other natural waste products. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Corellium and your overall health. And I freely admit a chance to study the unique properties of your physiology. You being a repatriate and all. Well, thanks for being transparent. All right, bathroom, and then I guess we'll leave. I guess we have to look at the door to leave, or maybe we need to go back to the the map to leave. Mm. Nice. Water intake, bear intake, degree of fatigue. Okay, I think we're we're finally ready to leave. We don't need to check out the sink. So, how do we leave? Door. There we go. Perfect. All right, dead heart man or die hard man. That's your name. Well, 
you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. So I take it that Chirelium is some type of radiation that the Death Stranding put out there in the world, and BTs and all that stuff give off this Chirelium. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications. Sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are... ...grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. How exactly did they make All a rope out of my blood? Minute, junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. I have so many questions. 4.6 billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. So the BTs react to his blood in some way. That should be interesting. Time to wake up, BB. Are we gonna see Mads Mickelson again? I think so. Yeah, there he is. I don't remember his character's name. I'm sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. Baby. Baby. Baby, can you hear me? 
Yeah, I can hear you. Take on the take on a new order at Capital Knot City. Okay. Activate terminal. So what does this do for me? Sam, this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Kaiju network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. Okay, so orders for Sam. Make deliveries, private locker, place items into or remove them from a private locker. Rest in private room. Let's check out this private locker. All right, private lockers. Items you don't immediately need can be stored in a private locker indefinitely. However, if you wish to reclaim them, you will have to do so from the specific terminal you use to store them. You can check what items you have stored in which locations via the cufflinks. Okay, so if I use this to store these boots, I can only pick up these boots at this terminal. Interesting. On boot clip. Oh, so apparently I can lose my boots, and I'd have to use these ones? Okay. Alright, so I don't think I need to st store anything. Let's, uh, let's look at our orders. Take on orders for which SAM services in particular have been requested. Smart drug delivery. Way station west of Capital Knot City. Okay, so let's go ahead... Let's listen to the briefing. The last void out in Central Knot City brought deliveries to a standstill. Until now. Your cargo for this run is a batch of smart drugs. Oxytocin, to be precise. Oxytocin is effective at reducing stress. So much so that some folks call it a love or happy hormone. Once you've completed the job, connect the way station to the network using the Cupid. Okay, cool. So let's confirm. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. The order confirmation screen. Use L1 and R1 to switch tabs and view various information about an order. Order summary. Order completion conditions, associated risks, etc. Order details. A list of objectives for the order. Cargo for delivery. Various information about the cargo, about the order's cargo, weight, number of pieces, supplies. Supplies that will be provided. Alright, let's see what this yellow text says. Come on, scroll. The amount of cargo each order involves, as well as its size, can also be viewed at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so. This order has. The weight of it is 1.5 kilograms, but how many pieces does it have? I'm not seeing that. Hmm. Maybe it's just one piece? Times one. Yeah, 1. 1.5 kilograms times one. So I'm assuming that it's only one piece. And supplies. They're going to give me four ladders and a climbing anchor. Okay. Interesting. So I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and grab this. We got it, right? Perfect. Accept the order. Okay, we did that. Carry on back. Attached to suit. Which part of my suit is it attached to? Doesn't say. Carry by hand. Or offload. Alright, let's just pop it on our back. Confirm. Sam. We've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. 
They should help with the steeper inclines, and the latter will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Yep, I'm mostly thinking about how to get through the menu. The cargo management menu can be opened by pressing options to access the cufflinks. It allows you to decide where and how to carry your cargo. How well you balance your load will affect your ability to walk. Any cargo you are unable to load or carry will be placed in a private locker. But it seems that I can only pick up stuff from this locker. So if I leave it here... I won't be able to you pick it up again. Okay. Hang on tool rack. Alright, so let's pop this ladder on the tool rack. I have five of these, don't I? Hang on back. Attach to suit. I'm not sure where it's going to be attached on my suit, but okay. Attach cargo to your suit, preventing it from falling off should you stumble or fall climbing anchor all right let's put the climbing anchor on our suit attached to, oh now i can choose where to attach it a right shoulder left shoulder right hip left hip uh let's put it on our right hip okay so we have uh three ladders on our back and we have one ladder on our tool rack select multiple oh boy i think we're good this should be interesting, but I think we're good. Head out, yeah, sure. Let's hope I'm not improperly weighted. Let's see, can I walk? I think I'm good. He's not leaning too much to one side. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, let's go. What's up? I see, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm good. Hold this and open equipment. Okay, so we have our ladders. Perfect. We can urinate. I don't need to do that. And we have our climbing anchor. Alright, I think I'm good. What is this? Okay, let's get out of there. Let's check our route. So, we need to go... Let's remove all these markers. We need to get to here. So, let's see. How are we getting out of here? We have a river to cross here. Maybe we can make our way to this ladder and then move up in this direction? Yeah, let's try that. Let's make our way to this ladder first. All right. Did I do that right? I think I did that right. Where is my... Little thing? Maybe I didn't do that right. No, I'm sure I did. Okay, we're going the wrong way. Good lord. I'll get used to this game eventually. <laughs> I had a feeling we were going the wrong way. I'm sure the music will kick in once we actually hit the grass. I cannot wait to get a vehicle. It's going to be great. Thank you. What's up? Putting up signs. Use L1 and triangle to put up a sign. You can share you can use these to share information with other porters. Okay. Do I hold L1? Oh, cool. Entry prohibited, BTs, mules, rough going, deep river. Wow. This is interesting. So I'm guessing this is the part of the whole shared world space with other people playing this game 
maybe we'll leave some signs at some point. But not right now. Alright, let's go. It doesn't look like the BB likes being in the water. There's like a little meter under our stuff on the left side. One of them definitely looked like it was for the BB. Cargo positioning. Cargo on your shoulders or back will have a lower chance of detaching when you fall over, as will cargo strapped down with a backpack band. When carrying a large amount of cargo, adjusting its positioning can increase stability and reduce the strain on your body. Okay. So how do I... I think it was triangle or something? Do I hold triangle? Nope, I don't want to offload. Let's go inside of the menu here. Let's see if we can... There we go, cargo. Can I rearrange stuff from here? Uh, let's see. This is on my back. This. Move to... Okay, so I can offload it automatically. Oh, okay. So if I put this on the ground, and I take... Where's that other one? There's something else that's on my back that I want to have access to. Is it this? Let's offload this. Okay. Now if we go down here and we pick up this. And let's put this on my back. Perfect. And now we'll put this on my back. Okay. I think that's better. That seems a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Can I move one of these ladders to another side? Let's see if we can move these ladders. Hang on tool rack. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do that. It looks like only one ladder can be on the tool rack. I thought maybe I could put it on another side. But that's not the case. Okay. Changes will be undone. No, cancel. How do I... Oh, confirm. There we go. Okay, I think that's better. Alright, where are we going? We're going in this way, this way. Way station. No, we're going this way. Let's go grab this package. Well, we already made it over the river, so we don't have to go to that marker I put there anymore. Okay. That worked out. That fit right in. Remember, Sam. Every parcel is a promise made to a person in need. Yes, yes, I know. On you to deliver. Well, they were counting on this guy, whoever he was. Okay. That sounds like t time fall. I think it's raining. Or going to rain soon. I think there's a way I can check the weather. It might be on the map, but we'll see. Alright, we got something there. We're gonna go check that out in a second. Let me just go grab this package. Bull. Coming in a little hot there, Sam. Alright, we can get across here. Alright, so the BB doesn't like deep water. The water we were in right there is fine. I don't think we have the tool to pick up whatever this is. A special device is used to collect crystals. Yeah, we did that last time. 
Yeah, this water's too deep. All right, so what is this? Thanks for the help. Use the post boxes dotted over the landscape to deliver lost cargo. Oh, so I can just deliver this Nick Sky stuff. Did we get it all? I think we got it all. All right, let's go ahead and deliver this stuff. Activate. Make delivery. Good work, Sam. Thanks. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe oh. and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Okay, that's cool. So I don't always have to deliver something. I can just put it into the private locker. I'm guessing the private locker or the storage is something that's shared between all of the people playing this game, which is cool. Select make delivery, deliver lost cargo at a delivery terminal to complete a lost cargo delivery. Lost cargo can also be entrusted to other players for delivery by selecting entrust cargo at any terminal other than the destination terminal. Okay, so deliver lost cargo. Entrusting and continuing the delivery of lost cargo. If lost cargo is taken to a facility other than its intended destination, the following options can be selected. Entrust delivery. Submit the cargo to, at the facility and entrust its delivery to another player. Don't entrust. Do not submit. Keeping it on your person in order to deliver it yourself. Okay. So let's select all of this. Perfect. And now will confirm that somebody else will deliver this. Good Samaritan. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's skip that. Cargo has been entrusted to another player. Awesome. Structure menu. What does this do? Dismantle structure. No, I don't want to do that. This thing was super helpful. Okay. Back on the road. Now let's see. Our course. Alright. Looks like we got another river coming up. So we're going to need to make a bridge. Possibly here. We do have a number of ladders, so that would be a good way to test out the ladders. And then it shouldn't be too much further there. We might actually have to go up a mountain here, which should be interesting. What's this? Probably nothing. Ooh, look at that. There's some more post boxes over here. And a lot more cargo. Let's go grab this cargo. Going a little bit off our beaten path here. That extra stamina helps a bit. We're about to go past our first bar. Alright. Grab you. There's a ladder over here. Oh, there's a lot of lost cargo up there. Okay, let's grab this. And let's get up this way. Now, I'm guessing that little meter under the left-hand side is the durability of my boots. But I could be wrong on that. Maybe that's why I have an extra pair of boots. Alright, we got four packages up in this direction. And we do have a ladder over here. Who's calling? Sam, What's up? If you come up against a sheer cliff or a steep slope, don't forget about the ladder we issued you. Be sure to try it out. Okay, let's slow down. Okay, we got some time fall now. Open equipment HUD. Alright, we got a bunch of ladders. We don't need it right now. 
but at least we know how to get to it. Okay, so this is a marker for a spot for a ladder. Let's go ahead and drop some likes on that. Alright, we'll use that in a second. I think there was a package over here. Offloading cargo. Carrying too much. I don't think we're carrying too much right now. What's this? Oh, that's more cargo. How do we get down to there? We're gonna have to go back down. Alright, let's go back down. And then we'll come back up. Okay, I think we're good. Oops, slow down. How far is that? Does it say? Whoa. Relax. How far is that? Oh, I think my stuff is deteriorating. I didn't know that the rain would cause my packages to break. I probably should have known that. I think we have to wait out the rain. We gotta find some place to get indoors. Yeah, it looks like it's causing my packages to rust. Oh no, that sucks. Come on, get moving. What just happened? What was that? Are we in BT ter- Yep, we're in BT territory. Oh shit. When you're connected to BB, your older deck will point towards the closest BT within a certain range. Scanning for BTs with R1 will also faintly reveal BT outlines. Alright, so the nearest BT is in this direction. We gotta get out of this rain. I have too much stuff on my back. I just wanna grab this package. Okay, we got one there. All right, let's uh, let's get out of this area. All right, up the hill. I don't know the location of any of caves in this game, but if we find a cave, I'm gonna put a marker on it so I can at least know. Disconnected from Cairo Network. Oh, so I'm guessing that if I'm in this area, my team or whatever can keep an eye on me. But if I go over here, this area is not connected. So I need to reconnect them. Okay, good. Okay, that looks like it's gonna be death. I probably should have never went this way. Come on, Sam. We got this. Can the rain go away, please? Is there a marker for caves? Let's see. Let's see. Steep slope, cliff, rocks, deep river, going rough, mules, time fall. I guess you can mark an area an area as having a lot of rain. Interesting. Hiding grass, climbing route, jump, bike jump, great view, hot springs, dump site, memory chip, slow down. Good work, BB. That's funny. Do not use, use freely, P ban, post box. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything to let somebody know that they're... Oh, safe house. Bridge. 
I mean, I guess safe house would be the closest one to let somebody know that there's like a cave nearby. I guess. But we're good. Alright. Got some more packages over here. Alright, we're out of the Cairo network. Okay, we're gonna have to rearrange our stuff. Let's do that now. Seeing as we're here. Did I do that right? Yeah, there we go. Cargo. Okay. So, let's see. Let's put... Where's the one that we just put put up there? All this stuff is deteriorated. Oh, jeez. From the damn rain. Emergency gas fuel. This definitely should be on my back. Where is that? Is it this one? Oh, that's the ladder. Okay. Let's move the ladder. Let's attach it to my... Let's offload it for a second. Alright, ladder's been offloaded. That looks a little bit better. We're still approaching carry weight, though. And let's put this... Attach it to the suit. Let's see. Let's put it on our left hip. There we go. Do we still... We still have a lot more ladders. I guess we could put something... On our left shoulder and right shoulder. And let's attach this to our right shoulder. Okay, there we go. So we took a lot of stuff off of our back. So maybe things will be a little bit better. But good lord, look at all the rust on all this stuff from the time fall. Nope. Gotta remember to confirm. Oh, yeah. This is bad. This is so bad. Okay, back into cargo. We weren't we weren't leaning before. Okay, so maybe if we where's that uh the big one? Yeah, you. Let's offload you. And let's offload you. I'm going to put the big one closer to my back. Offload. Time fall resistant wood. How did you get damaged then? If you're time... Well, it says resistant, not proof. Let's see. Cargo lost plants. I think that's that one there. Offload you. Smart drugs. We got to keep you on. And we'll keep the ladder. Okay. Where is the big one? You. You're going to go first. Perfect. That works. Okay. Okay. Hey, look at that. That works. Now, <laughs> let's see if this, how this looks out. How much are we leaning? Okay, I think we'll... Okay, we were a little bit better. Alright, thanks. So, let's go ahead and throw a rope here. Uh, let's see, where is it? There it is. Alright, a pole that is driven into the ground, creating an anchor point for a 30 meter rope that allows for de ascending and descending of steep slopes and cliffs. Use L2 to ready an anchor, and R2 to place it. Alright, so. We're gonna put it right here. And we'll place it. Perfect. Apprentice Builder. So now we can go down this cliff without dying? Yeah? Awesome. Gosh, look at all that rust. 30 meters. I think this is enough. Oh yeah, it tells us right there. 14, 13. Yeah, I think we have more than enough space. Nine.
release. Okay, we're good. Now, should I put a sign here that lets me know that my rope's here? Or does this pop up on our, our map? It pops up. Okay, good. Now, what direction are we going? We're going here. Alright, so Sam, you need to go here. Good. I don't think I want to pick up anything else. Are there any of those delivery tubes around here? Because that would be awesome. Delivery tube. Give me a delivery tube. Nope. Not seeing any. Alright, let's keep moving. Uh... Okay, let's slow down. We gotta get down this thing without dying. Let's go this way. Okay, I think we're good now. Can't run very fast. Okay, yeah, we already know about that one. That just tells us what terrain is good and what's not good. I gotta stop doing those quick turns. I think that's what's making him fall, is me trying to look around. Okay, we're going the right way. Of course we are. So we have some cargo over there. I mean, I could pick it up, but would that be the smart thing to do? No, it wouldn't. Oh, it's another one of those... Backup fuel? It's another one of those things. Okay, you know what? Let's try this. Let's see if we can even do it. Okay, Sam, don't do that. Alright, so let's see. Cargo. Let's offload... Let's see, where is that? Let's offload this, this, no, let's keep that, this, and this. And we're going to offload. Perfect. And are we close enough to pick up? Oh, we can pick it up. We don't even have to leave the thing. That's cool. Good lord. Oh, this, this thing's heavy. Holy crap. We could carry it by hand. That's one thing we can do. Oh, that still adds to our weight. So that it really doesn't matter. Okay. We'll just carry it by hand. And if we pick all this stuff up, are we overweight now? We're severely overweight. Okay, we're going to have to leave this. Yeah, I know we're overweight. I'm going to drop something. What needs to go? I mean, the thing on our hand needs to go, doesn't it? Alright, drop this. Offload. Alright, we can't pick that up. Let's go. We tried. I can't wait to get a vehicle. I'm sure that with a vehicle, we'll be able to carry a lot of that stuff. How much is that way? Plant samples. That has to be pretty light. Sam. Yes. Get you most rivers, you know. Are we good? We're good. Alright, buddy. Relax. Alright, I think we can use a ladder. Will the ladder reach all the way over here? Let's see. Okay, that actually does reach. That's cool. Alright. There you go. You happy? I uh, used your ladder. And now I should be able to pick this up. Hell yeah.
I need one of those pods like now. Okay, we can use another ladder over here. Die Hardman should be happy. Uh, let's use it over here. Seeing as we're gonna have to go up this way anyways. Alright, so, ladder here. And... perfect. That's so cool. There we go. Let's see if that gets us any likes. Home stretch, everybody. I'm surprised we didn't get any music this time. On the way here. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Cargo verified. Thank you. Good lord, our cargo is so beat up, but we made it. We'll get a little bit of lower rating, but it doesn't matter. Alright, make delivery. Let's do this. Deliver requested cargo, deliver lost cargo. Alright, here is your smart drugs. All required cargo is ready to be delivered. The order can be completed. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Confirm. Delivering cargo. Thank you. You're welcome. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Okay, we got an S. Interesting. Cargo condition less than 50%, 0%. I'm not sure. I think that means we failed that one. But we got 75 likes, so I'm not sure if we actually did fail. Difference between new delivery route and shortest route. New delivery route. Connection level 2. We're a level 10 porter. Nice. We're an 11 level. We're a level 11 porter now. Even better. Okay, so how do I use this Cupid? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I'm Sam Porter Bridges. Delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but the second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. I have it. Relax. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. And they sent us one guy who's... Shit, shit, shit. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? <laughs> Interesting. So this stuff affects even Sam. I, I was floating there for a second. A new day for the UCA. New strand established. Alright, so we made our first connection. It looks like we're going to be going across the entirety of the US. That's cool. Way station west of Capital Knot City has joined the UCA. The following structure cannot be constructed using the PCC. New options have been added to delivery terminals. Fabricate equipment, make delivery, share locker, and withdraw, withdraw cargo. Okay. 
And I've placed two ladders. The series is now collected to the Cairo network. Sorry. This, relax. <laughs> this area is now connected to the Cairo network, enabling you to see and access other players' structures. Connection to Capital, not City confirmed. Oh, and you have a name. Through That's cool. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station, as to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Okay. Sounds good. good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Can I deliver what's on my back right now? Because that'd be amazing. Fabricating equip paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Okay. Fabricating equipment. Weapons and equipment can be fabricated using materials provided by facilities. The amount of materials available at a given facility will differ depending on the facility type. Take on orders, make delivery. Alright, let's make a delivery, deliver lost cargo, and we will deliver all of this. And confirm. Okay, cool. Somebody else will deliver that. And now we're level 13. I wonder what the max level is. Share locker. What's this? Sam. You can use share lockers to exchange cargo with other porters. Oh. Share lockers can be used to don to donate weapons, materials, and equipment for use by other players. If you offer up something particularly useful to those traveling through the area you're in, you may be able to earn some extra likes. You can also choose to claim items donated by other players. Share lockers are also where you'll be able to reclaim any cargo you've lost or entrusted to others. Uh, claim cargo. Oh, okay. So does that mean that I could take this stuff and just deliver it here? I guess we can try that. Cargo for Sam. Okay. You know what? Let's try that. If we take all of this and we, yeah, let's just take this and let's put it on our back. Okay, we have this stuff now. Now let's confirm. And we make a delivery. Oh, so that's, we can actually do that. That's really cool. And now confirm. So that stuff was purple. Is that going to give us a lot of...
quarter level, I'm assuming. So I'm guessing this is something he lost. So we're just giving it back to him. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. We just went up three levels from that. Three building bridges. We just got a whole nother trophy for that. Interesting. Fabricate equipment. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box. PCCs can be used to build structures, but be aware that doing so will use up some of the chiral bandwidth available to you. Structures can be shared with other players once built. New structures cannot be built within the area around an existing facility marked with sensor poles. Post box. Post boxes can be used to return lost cargo or entrust cargo for delivery by others. The share locker function can be used to exchange weapons and equipment with other players. The private locker function can be used to temporarily store personal cargo and equipment. Okay. So. How many do you require? I guess one. We'll take one of these. Oh, that's what it takes to build. It takes 32 resin and 40 metals. And we use the climbing anchor, so I guess we need to replace the climbing anchor. Number owned one. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll just replace... Let's replace the climbing anchor. And we used two ladders, I think. Number zone three. Maybe we don't need to replace the 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 ladders because we still have three ladders. Yeah, that's just gonna weigh us down if we buy any more ladders. I think this is good. Let's just carry it all on our tool rack. Yeah, let's put it on our tool rack. And the PCC, how big is this? Let's just put it on our back. There we go. Okay, cool. That's done. Nope, gotta remember to confirm. I'll get the hang of that eventually. Now, share locker and donate. I don't have anything to donate. No one wants anything that I have. Alright, let's pick up an order. Rare metal delivery, distribution center west. And a... Oh, someone wants me to build a, a post box. Well, perfect. We can do that. Confirm. Build a post box in the designated construction area. Okay. And rare metals. Let's listen to the briefing. You'll be delivering supplies for a chiral printer. The distro center you're going to has one. First expedition set it up. On its own, it's no different from your run-of-the-mill 3D printer. Connected, though, it can utilize chiral network data to reproduce all kinds of things. And you can imagine how handy that might be. Now, I know I don't need to tell you, but steer clear of any BTs you find out there. A void out's the last thing we need. Sam, it's Hartman. Void outs occur when the living of our world come into contact with beached things. The reaction is similar to what a physicist would call an annihilation when a subatomic particle collides with its antiparticle. Alas, there ends our understanding. Why do the dead transform into BTs? Why are void outs only triggered by human contact? And why are people like you able to return seemingly unscathed? No one knows. Yet it cannot be a coincidence that these phenomena were observed only after we discovered the beach and bridged this world and the next. Anyway, to reiterate, the only reliable means by which you can prevent a void out is to stay far, far away from BTs. Okay, so now we know what BT stands for, beach things. Whenever Sam dies, he goes to that beach with all those dead whales and stuff. Alright, so we have six things to deliver, six containers of rare metals to deliver to the distribution center. Oh boy. Now, it says that we have some stuff to look out for. 
I'm not sure what those symbols mean, but I'm guessing one of those is BTs. But let's go ahead and grab those. Alright, let's accept these orders. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. Yep, I have one. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Thanks, bro. I got one. Yep, it should say owned one. Perfect. Alright. So let's go ahead and head out. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying. Okay, I got one. Oh, confirm. Duh. Uh, let's just put all the rare metals on our back. We have six of them. Okay, jeez. <laughs> That's a awkward setting. Uh, okay, let's move the PCC someplace else. Attach it to our suit? Yeah, there we go. Let's put it on our shoulder. Climbing anchor. Let's move this to another shoulder. Let's put this on our left shoulder. And I think we have two ladders on our hips. Okay, I think we're good now. Yep, let's go. Oof. I definitely do not envy Sam's job. Good lord. Sam, assuming you've got your PCC in order, head to the site I designated and build that post box, would you? should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Yep, sure thing, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of these markers. Alright, markers are gone. Now, this is my last route. That's kind of cool that they marked that for me. Okay, post box. So, let's go ahead and mark our route. I guess we'll go here. And we should be able to make a ladder. Wait. Crap. Let's get rid of that. We should be able to go straight across. Actually. Let's just go here first. And get to that middle island. Wear boots. And wear my glasses. Yeah, let's put our glasses on. I don't know why they weren't already on. Oh, so if we put the glasses on, our hair changes? I kind of like the hair like that. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. I didn't know our hair would change. Weapons restrictions lifted. All right, we got some resin over there. We could pick that up. And we have a bunch of stuff over here. All right, let's pick this stuff up. Seeing as we're making a post box, we can just go ahead and deliver this stuff. Cargo weight will take more of a toll. Anybody hear me? Can I choose to put something under something? Like, where is that thing we just put up there? Like, can I move... Okay, it doesn't look like I can move it under these things. So I'd have to take these off first. Where's it at? Alright. Take you. That's you. The highlighting's a little weird, so I'm trying to make sure it highlights the right thing. Okay, U3. U3 need to be offloaded. And you need to go to the back perfect now you three can come back okay good equipment HUD switching pages use hold to bring up the equipment HUD then press to change pages Okay. Perfect. 
when you're carrying too much equipment to be displayed on a single page, you can use that to ch switch pages. Okay, good to know. There's cargo down here. Can I reach it? Is the question. I'm going to say yes. As long as this doesn't make me drop anything. Oh no, it's one of these. Alright, we're gonna have to ignore you. Unless I can just... Can I hold this in my hand? Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna be moving kind of slow for a bit. I really should just leave these fuel tanks alone. It's just me trying to grab everything. Sam's poor back. Oh, so now I get we're attached, we're connected online. So now the other person's ladder's here. We'll use this person's ladder. Throw some likes his way. Or their way. I could dismantle their ladder? Oh, can I dismantle my own ladder? Oh, but I don't get any materials back. I see. So there's probably no point in dismantling anything. Alright, that's our destination. We just gotta make it there. How far is that? Oh, looks like there's rainfall. Or time fall in this area. So we're gonna have to be careful. Hopefully we can get through there quickly. Alright, let's go. If we stay straight and slowly turn, I might not have to switch my weight on my foot. I say that as <laughs> it happens. God damn it. Oh wow, it started up immediately. Effects on time fall on not carried in containers. Yeah, I don't want to. Let's just run. Yeah, we noticed that before. It causes stuff to rust. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. When you're ready to proceed, activate your PCC. Use the okay. post box within the area I specified. All right, post box. Build. That was easy enough. Just needed to get here. Boom. Post box. Done. S rating. Level 17. Good work, Sam. That's a fine looking post box. If you access it and select share box. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut him off because my stuff is deteriorating as he's talking. Alright, make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. Let's uh, select these two. And we're going to entrust it to somebody else. Okay. Okay, you can keep talking now. Okay, I think he was done talking anyways. Let's check our cargo real quick. Yeah, all our rear metals are starting to deteriorate. So I think we really have to keep an eye out for... We need one of those umbrellas, like uh, Fragile has. That'd be great. Alright, so... New destination. Let's uh, take this off. What is this? Is this a jump? Oh, we can jump across. What's this, BTs? Okay, so the little ghost symbol is BTs. Good to know. Alright, so our next destination is to deliver to the distribution center, which is... What is this, a no-P zone? That's funny. P 
P band. Keep on keeping on. Okay, we need to get to the distro center. What's this here? The incinerator? Okay, good. Alright, so we need to go from here back to the ladder. And then from the ladder all the way to the sign. The sign says go up. Don't give up. Okay, these signs are awesome. I like this. Okay, let's go. Let's try to get out of this rain. Oh, I can hold almost a thousand of these things. I don't think I need them right now, but that's cool. Come on, let's get out of the rain. Drink more monster. Get our stamina back up. Will it increase past that point? I don't know. I don't think it will. Yeah, I don't think it's going to increase past that point. Oh, well. Okay, I think the rain's over. Let's go up this way and try to get to our next marker. Whoa. Our next marker is there. Yeah, the sign that says go up. All right, let's go. What are these footsteps? Are these other people's footsteps? Oh no, these are mine. These, that's my old path. That's right, I went down here to get a package. Oh, what's this? I think this is... I think we've been to one of these before. I think this is where we can, like, survey an area. But I don't remember if we can turn in packages here. I don't think we can. Doesn't hurt to try, though. We're gonna have to rebalance this in a second. We'll do it here. George Baton. This one's for you. All right, let's use this watchtower. All right, George. All right, we got a bunch of resins over here. We'll go hit these up. That's not too far from me. We can go up, right? Yeah, there we go. There's a sign there that wants us to go up. But we're probably going to go for the resin first. Can I put a... Awesome. Okay, good. What else do we have? Meal boots. Something was destroyed there. Is there any post boxes around? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go. Alright, cargo. Let's go ahead and drop which one? Take you and you. Offload. Oh, there's another one. You. Offload. Oh, that's the way it's going to go. I thought it was going to go straight down. So we might as well just offload this one, too. Good. Okay, that's better. Alright, let's go. 
Back on the road. What's that noise? Is that the watchtower? Sounded like something big. Doesn't sound too good. Did I just get scanned by something? Whoa. Heads up, Sam. Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Now, before someone has eyes on you. Okay, so I... I thought that that was something for me to pick up. That's actually an enemy. Okay, let's go. Because we we haven't had anything to fight just yet, so I'm just going to go. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. You guys throw stuff. The caution this gauge. I can't even read that. They said go up. I'm not sure why I would go up. This is BT territory, isn't it? Yep, this is BT territory. Damn. And we have another rainbow. I'm screwed. Timefall. Timefall ex will accelerate the passage of time for anything it touches. Exposure to timefall renders cargo containers less impact resistant. Yeah, we gotta get out of the rain. What is that? It doesn't say. I'm thinking that's what scanned me the first time. Alright, I guess we can plot a new route. So what is this whole thing? This whole thing is surrounded by orange. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this whole orange area is an area that's patrolled by mules. What is this? A mule post box. They have their own post boxes? Oh, boy. Alright, so. We have a post box here. If we grab all of this stuff, we should be able to wrap back around to this post box. What's this sign? Okay. Shelter. Oh. That's what it is. So the umbrella symbol. Is what we should be looking for. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab all this gear. All this cargo. Don't fall. Ugh, I don't like the way that went on there. Okay. Over here. Let's take off the resin. Wait, no. What was the thing we just put on our back? Yeah, the backup fuel. Let's drop you. Oh, I could have just put it to my hand. I gotta remember that. Let's carry by hand. Right hand. Okay, good. Oh, so I actually have to hold this thing the whole way. Okay, now I see the benefit of not carrying it by hand. I could have just delivered this, I know. Let's grab this. 
Nick Easton dropped a lot of cargo. Alright. Time fall. Okay, you know what? Let's grab this and let's get to... Let's get to this cave. Alright, come on. And then we'll rearrange in this cave. Okay. Hello. Let's go ahead and uh, rearrange our cargo while we wait for this. A shout in the dark. <laughs> Let's rearrange our cargo while we wait for this time fall to go away. I know the world probably doesn't keep going as I'm in this menu, but still. Alright. Where is the other one? Yeah. Okay. All of you offload. Perfect. Now I can pick all you guys back up. Okay. I saw somewhere where the, somebody was sitting. I don't know if I can sit, but I guess we can pee. <laughs> Be considerate and relieve yourself away from other people and their property. I couldn't hold it in. Well, I guess we could do this while we wait for the rain to go away. Sweet fucking relief. Jeez, I didn't know his bladder was so full. My bad. <laughs> this is so stupid, but also hilarious at the same time. I'm so sorry, Sam. Okay. And we have a mushroom here. Now what's this rope for here? Can be used to bind humans from behind and parry attacks at close quarters. Use R2 to ready a strand, L2 to ready a strand, and bind a target. Oh, so if we sneak up on somebody, we can use this to bind them. I'm still wondering why it needs to be made out of our own blood. That's interesting. Don't know why just yet. Go away, Rain, please. I have stuff to do. Oh, this is the thing we can do? That's cool. Hello, buddy. Oh, we can use the motion controls to rock the BB. What if I shake it hard? Oh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> this 
This game is something else. Yeah, he stops if I stop moving the controller. He'll stop moving. <laughs> and the little um, drone there becomes a mobile, the sensor on his back. That's great. All right, let's put him back. We might have to just go with the rain. Does the map say anything about when the weather is going to pick up? I don't know. We might just have to deal with it. Uh, let's see. Our boots are deteriorating, which is not too good. I don't think it says when the weather is going to be fine again. Let's drop a save. Seeing as we're here. Alright, let's go ahead and just turn this stuff in. Where's that box at over here? Maybe when we get the ability to sit, we'll be able to pass time better. But we can't sit right now. Alright, make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. Take you and you. Oh no. Uh, put you back. Okay, I'm doing that wrong. There we go. Okay. Now... Why can't, why didn't the other cargo that I have go away? Is it because it's going to our same destination? I think that might be the case. Because this is already going where we're headed. All oh, this stuff is getting really, really messed up. Oh boy. Alright, so... We're here, and we need to get to... We could cross here. Do this twice. Yeah, let's do that. Do a ladder there. Do another ladder here. And then we'll make our way to this place. That's our best bet. Let's go. This stuff is going to be destroyed by the time we get there, though. Unless we wait it out in the cave again. For the rain to go away. Too close. I, I saw somewhere that it said that we had a certain spray that can reverse the effects of the time fall. That might be something we need to look into getting to. Getting some. That'd be great. Because this rain is brutal. We might just have to risk it until we get the weather forecast. I don't know why I'm so impatient. Oh, woo. That was bad. Oh, no, this is BT territory. Nope, go around. We definitely don't want to be there. Thank you for that symbol. Everything's all slippery. Was there somebody around here? Oh crap, I think I just gave myself away. 
Who's following me? Nope, we're in BT territory. Okay, here we go again. I wonder what those plants and those crystals do. Do we pick this up? Okay, we got a BT there. Uh, let's go around the BT. Okay, I think we're good. It's so hard to see when you have a bunch of stuff on your back. Oh, we gotta go that way. Where's our route? We're not even following our own route. We need to get back to the river. Oh, come on. This is where we need to go. Okay, come on. I'm not seeing any. Okay, stuff is growing, so there's definitely something around us. Okay, it's blinking last. Just get to the water. Just get to the water. We'll be okay. Okay. Alright, let's get a ladder ready. Okay, we got a BT right up top. We gotta be careful of. Okay, time to go. We've messed up. Time to go. Come on. I think we're safe. Jeez. Are you tired? Oh no, what just happened? Something wrong, Sam? I don't know. Kid doesn't look so hot. Autotoxemia? What does that mean? That doesn't sound good. Autotoxemia. Uh, how far do these uh, ladders go? I'm willing to assume that I can't get over here with a normal ladder. Okay, ladders don't go that far. There's a ladder down here. Uh, how do I put this away? There we go. Let's get over here to this ladder. Let's see if we can utilize it. Okay, this person has zero likes. Maybe because the ladder is like in the middle of nowhere.
Yeah, it's not too helpful. I'll give him one like. Not terribly helpful. Hey, we're getting water though. Okay, we are no longer in the Cairo network. Okay, we're going there. There's a way that we can check on the BB. Let's do that. Okay, we can't even sue them. Autotoxemia. I don't know what that is. That doesn't sound good, though. Alright, we're almost where we need to be. Let's drink some water. Or monster energy drink. Oh, there's a vehicle there. Can we use that? When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Thank you. We'll do that in a bit. We're almost here. Oh, please tell me I can use this car. It probably doesn't have any power. How much you want to bet? Seeing as it was just raining, it's probably rusted. Name's Sam. Sam. The bike isn't charged and therefore can't be used. Looks like that bike's auto charging unit is busted. If you want to take it for a spin, you'll need to use a generator to give it some juice. Okay. How do I build a generator? I don't think I can build one of those yet. Alright, we're gonna have to come back to that bike. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Look at our packages. Our packages are destroyed. Okay. There should be a private room in this place, I'm assuming. Yeah, I definitely need to rest. It was a long journey. Okay. Let's... Okay, apparently I don't have this. Let's go for this one. The rare materials. Everything in decent condition, I assume? Whew, we did it. All six. They're super rusted, but they're here. Are they saying that there was 0% damage on it? Maybe damage has a threshold. Okay, so I'm guessing that blue bar is just the damage threshold. And once that bar is filled with red, that's when that number starts going up. <laughs> that's our whole path. That's awful. Hey, we still got an S. Cool. Oh, two stars. Alright. Two, almost three stars. Nice. Cool. 24. Did, weren't we just 16? Okay. Wow, we went up a lot. The Alright. There's the Cupid. So I thought that one of these things would go for each place, but I think this whole thing's like a, a master key, which is cool. And now I'm floating again. Three. 
three down. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. You're welcome. UCA membership and increased facility functionality. As more facilities join the UCA, Bridges HQ will be able to provide additional functionality to those facilities, such as the ability to fabricate equipment and weapons via the delivery terminal. The range of available weapons and equipment may increase, and new terminal functions and information may be added as things progress. Okay, so can I make a generator then? New interview data acquired. Mules and drone, de and drone syndrome. Bridge babies and timefall. You see UCA member added. New features have been added to your cufflinks, mail and data. A new option has been added to delivery terminals, recycle. Okay, so we just unlocked this area, which means we got a bunch of new markers that people have left behind. The area is now connected to the Cairo network, enabling you to see and access other player structures. And now we can see him a lot more clearly. Benjamin Hancock. We can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Thanks, buddy. And keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. So now we have to go to the windmill. Sam. Dead man. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. All right, I want to drop off this stuff first. Private rooms can be accessed via the delivery terminal. Yeah. Make delivery, deliver lost cargo. Take this and entrust it. That was only one package, so this other stuff must go someplace else. Maybe I could put this in the share locker? All right, George Breton. All right, let's let's skip all that. Twenty-four. Did we go up? Nope. Recycle cargo to produce new materials. Oh. A medium-sized batch of various resins for use with a Cairo printer. Recycling resins at facilities allows them to be used as materials for fabricating equipment. Okay, so these three things I can that's why I still have them so I can recycle them. All right, so let's recycle these three. And recycle. Perfect. So that just went to my resources. Right? Cargo shelf. carry and recycle I'm assuming I did that right yeah I'm going to assume I did all of that right I probably didn't but let's let's assume I did okay that's everything right Okay, the Bridget Foundation. New materials are now available at Distribution Center West. So are these, what I just put in here, only available here? Or can I use them anywhere? Is the question. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. Cool. You can access the share locker to collect it. Claim. So now I can deliver all this stuff. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab it and deliver it. Confirm. Donate weapons. I don't think I have anything good to donate. Make delivery, deliver lost cargo.
I'm slowly getting the hang of these things. Okay. Perfect. So how much did we go? We went from 24 to... I think we're still 24. And we still have some metals to... Recycle. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm sure this is everything. We gotta go to our private room and try to fix our BB. You're welcome. Okay, cool. Unable to fabricate, a Cairo printer interface could not be detected. I'm probably gonna have to build one for them, aren't I? Yeah, I'm assuming I will. All right, let's go to our private room. We have so much stuff. Dead man, you there? Little help? Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. In. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Its mother's Mother. womb? Uh, located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Oh, jeez. Still mother. Correct. A steel mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. Okay, so I'm guessing... You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from a steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Eh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. You mean murdered? And then... You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> good night, Sam. Yeah, good night, Deadman.
Now, does everyone do this? Lock themselves to the bed just to sleep? Or is this just a Sam thing? And if so, why? Emily. Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east. Back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together. To help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. I think it sounds a little too good to be true. Like, I understand that they're holding her as sort of like a, you guys bother us, we'll kill her, but no guards, no nothing. And they just let her talk to us? I don't know. Sounds like a trap to me, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, sure thing. We'll take a shower. So I'm not noticing any new figures, so I'm not going to bother looking at the figures. Uh, let's take a look at the terminal. Let's see what we got here. So, mail. Oh yeah, we just got access to mail. Uh, let's see, important by sender. Let's just go for important. Benjamin Hancock. I think this is the guy who is in this facility here. Sorry, Sam, bad news. Thanks for delivering those rare materials, those rare metals, Sam. Everyone at the Distro Center really appreciates you coming through for us. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, though. That bike you saw outside, its battery is dead. You have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. Sorry if you got your hopes up. And, uh, I've got some more bad news for you, too. You see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials so that everyone gets what they need, and to make sure that everything that's produced gets put to proper use. That's why guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart, whole world even. Anyway, there's this guy, George Baton, over at the way station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's like pulling teeth, getting him to make even the simplest delivery. Keeps bitching about being sa scared, or not, <clears throat> or not having enough oxy, or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load en route. So yeah, that's why we're a bit short of materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll soon help us put that to rights. We're counting on you, Sam. Good lord. Everybody. Okay, so let's see. George Baton. Is this the guy who he says is useless? Yep, George Vuitton, okay. Sam, the man, our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We were all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up. But three years of isolation and loneliness will change anyone's tune. Hell, we even, when we first got here, 
we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot. But after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. When Central went up, I told myself this was it. America's done. Everyone was feeling it too. And the mood was just bleak. And then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking at first. I know what you're thinking. At first, I thought it was just oxytocin too. But that's not all. That's not it. Not all of it anyhow. You gave us the glimmer of hope we needed by bringing us into the Cairo network. We're back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again even. Watchtowers too. Before long, we'll be opening up new delivery routes. Mark my words. It's still scary out there though. All the oxy in the world won't help us deal with the mules. Let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one and end up dropping half our equipment. Honestly, a part of me is still a little worried that we won't be able to keep it up. And that's why we need you, Sam. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. Alright. Data. Tips. Alright, what's the, what's the point of calling out? Call out and greet anyone that's nearby. You might get, not get a reply, but don't let that get you down. Try calling out in various places, and someone's bound to respond eventually. Okay, so we just do that occasionally, and maybe we'll come across something lucky. When footwear is damaged, you will tire more easily. If you keep walking regardless, the soles will eventually wear through, damaging your footwear beyond repair and injuring your feet. It's best to equip new footwear or find some sandalweed as quickly as possible. Oh, I wonder if sandalweed is those... Actually, no, it said crystals. It didn't say anything about losing blood due to damaged feet. Walking barefoot or in worn boots will damage your feet. Continue walking with damaged feet can result can lead to blood loss. Well, you got to keep keep track of a lot of stuff. Resting outdoors will restore it a little, but to make a full recovery, you need to rest in a private room. Okay, so that's why our stamina, our max stamina level went down, is because I was pushing myself too hard. Which is probably from me overloading stuff. I see. That symbol indicates deep water, where I'll be swept away. Keep, take care. Alright, so we gotta be careful of that symbol. If the BB starts to cry, I can soothe it. Okay. We've done that. Precautions for time fall. Time fall accelerates the passage of time. Try to move to an area where there is no time fall as quickly as possible. If mules steer your cargo, stolen cargo will be stored in a post box somewhere in hostile territory. Oh, that's why they have post boxes. Because that's where they put my cargo if they take it. Alright, I think we're good for now. Interviews. Okay, so this is just some lore stuff. I might look at this on my own time. Actually, let's read the yellow. All the people put out of work by machines who got called up again convinced themselves society couldn't survive without them. And that brought on a whole new disorder. Delivery dependent syndrome, they call it. They call me dead men on account of my familiarity with the dead. Get it? We've always been on good terms, you see. Used to have regular little chats back when I worked in the morgue. Something in me suspects that the Death Stranding may have warped our perception of the passage of time. Hartman. Okay, yeah, we've heard from Hartman before. Alright, I think we're good. And we just got likes from reading their emails. Hey, we got more monster. We're going to need this for that extra 25%. So let's go ahead and drink this. I think my controller's charged. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I know it's going to turn off for a second. There we go. Yeah, I think we have to drink three of these to get the max. So we might as well go ahead and drink three of these. I 
There's no way to skip this animation, so we gotta watch it each time. Okay. And three. Perfect. Sam sure loves his monsters. Just downs three cans before he goes out. Okay. So, door. Nope, we don't need the shades. We're going to keep the shades off for now. Check on BB. Examine equipment rack. Examine weapon rack. Let's go ahead and use the bathroom. Alright, let's let Hartman get his analysis. At least we didn't get grabbed by BTs this time. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. I'm gonna have to deliver this, Should aren't I? If the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. Oh. I'm curious to see how they react. Interesting. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? He's then, gone, then Sam. What? He'll be back in a bit. I remember that little short video they put out. This guy's actually really interesting, Hartman. He'll be back in a bit. Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I Exo grenade. No, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Okay. So I think that's just telling us that we have access to some lore. Which is always awesome. We might do that some other time. But let's go take a look now. Just to see what it looks like. So, archives. Which is... In data, maybe? Nope, it is sure not in data. This is gonna annoy me, so I gotta do this. 
get this last little tag away. Where are you? There you are. Okay, good. Okay, now, it's not here. It's not there. Oh, this just takes a, a note of everything I've done. Mail. Okay, we've done mail already. He's a little late on that notice. Definitely not orders. I guess we'll drop another save just because. Okay. Not seeing it here. What did I just do? I did something. Okay, let's go. Oh, can I skip the monster drinking scene? If that's a thing? Because I just said I can skip something. Alright, I think we can leave our room now. I think we've examined everything. Change color scheme. Can we change the color scheme of the suit or is it just our glasses again? I'm going to assume it's just the glasses. Okay. And our BB should still be good. Yeah, he's still good. Or it's still good. Alright. Time to go. Let's see what they want us to do next. I know we have to go to the windmill. I think that's the next place we have to connect. This isn't what we agreed on, you said. You do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release the sun just yet. Believe me when I tell you, sister. Sister woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pot. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. So as we connect these different places, we'll learn more about the world, which is cool. Alright, so we know about that, because we did that when we were in the cave. Now, is there anything here for us to pick up? While you are resting, I read some network diagnostics. Aurelia monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. 
The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Okay, so it looks like we're going into mule territory. Star 7, star 8. Recover Cairo printer interface. You know what? Let's do it. So we have... I'm guessing that's a symbol for mules. That little skull. And is he telling us to go to three different places? Cargo recovery from a mule camp. Watch out for mules. The cargo must be recovered from one of their camps. Retrieve and make a delivery. Okay, we can do that. And we have two things to pick up. Alright, we'll do that. And Cairo Crystals. I don't think I can pick up Cairo Crystals yet. Collect one CG or more of Cairo Crystals and recycle them. They're very precious and often found in areas where there's a lot of time fall. I said I needed a special tool, but I'll pick this up as well. But I don't think I can actually grab Cairo Crystals yet. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. Oh. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Yep, sure thing. Well, before it... Crap. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see if I actually had one. Alright, let's go back. We're gonna have to listen to his dialogue again. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's put this... How big are you? You're not all that big. I'll put you on the tool rack. Do we need another PCC? I don't think we need two. Carry by hand, hang on tool rack, put on back. Uh, we'll put it on the back. We'll put you on the back too. That's a lot of PCCs. So we have one, two, three PCCs. Alright, I guess we're carrying three. Let's go. Not sure why we need three. But let's head out. We're probably gonna have to find new boots. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Oh, perfect. Uh, That's what we need. It for any crystals you gather. Hartman. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Sure right. thing. Floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. There was one near the incinerator. I know that much. Okay, let's go. So... Our first destination is to, well, our first order of business is to remove all the markers, which I think was already done. Okay, it's done now. So let's see. We need to get to Mule Territory, I believe. Data. No, I don't want tips. Orders. Nope, I want to do this one first. Cargo carried for this order will be returned to where it was when you undertook the order. Are you sure you want to proceed? Redeploy cargo. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. So they want me to go in this direction? Rich collect and retrieve at BT area. West of Capital Not City. Okay. What's this? Online post box. 
Alright, so let's make our way to this area. I think we have to go to both these areas, actually. We're gonna need to switch out our boots in a second. Well, not in a second, but soon. Because our boots are like halfway. Alright. What's our destination? Back here. Okay. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we can build a generator soon and get access to that bike. That's gonna be awesome. Well, we don't have any weapons. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. I don't even know how to fight, but okay. Okay, thank you. Press square. A mule repeatedly to knock them unconscious. And then we can do the tying them up thing with the strand that they gave us. Good to know. Oh, did I bring any ladders? Okay, we have a couple of ladders. We only have two ladders. Damn. I probably should have made a note to do that. Hey, we got crystals. I don't know how many crystals we need. I think it said like one... One gram. There we go. Hey, yeah. We got it. Crystals is done. So we don't need to go to that other area. Equipping strands. To silently render people unconscious. Are there people around here? We're gonna have to sneak up with some people. This is says uh, go up, doesn't it? All right, let's go up. Meal boots. Oh, that's a person there. Okay, I see. Yeah, that would be smart. A well-placed watchtower can provide invaluable, can prove invaluable when re, when doing recon, <laughs> mule camps in their surroundings. Use to equip the PCC and select the watchtower. Oh, I can build a watchtower. That's why we probably brought so many of these damn things. Can I just build it anywhere? Let's uh. I guess let's put it over here. Switch structure. Oh wow, this is amazing. I guess we'll put a watchtower smack dab right here. Wow, this is cool. Can I build a shelter? Now that's a question I have. Can I build a timefall shelter? Okay, there's a post box. Thank you. Got some ladders. Can I? I can go up, right? Yeah. Got a ladder here. Not sure why anybody went up that high. What's this? Sandalweed. Oh, I can make more boots or something with that. Destroyed PCC. Alright, we're gonna go and attack this guy over here. Maybe try to tie him up. Just to get a hang of this.
Okay, so I didn't get scanned, right? Because we were in the grass. Okay, I don't think we got scanned. That's awesome. So we got a mule guy there. Let's get this uh strand ready. Use L2 to ready a strand and bind. Okay, good. Let's go. Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's stay behind these rocks. Okay, he's he might see me. Your Cairo crystals. The number of Cairo crystals in your possession is displayed on the bottom of the cuffs map. Your blood level, footwear, and total number of likes. Okay, there he is. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. Turn around for me, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Let's play it safe and get in the bushes and get right up behind him. Okay, here we go. Let's tie this guy up. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for the boots. Now, do we just leave them here? I guess we do. Okay. Well, have a nice life. Are there more mo mule boots over there? No, I guess that's a mule ladder. Okay, let's go. I wonder how much this game is like Metal Gear Solid, because I've never played that, but... I'm really enjoying this so far. If, if Metal Gear is anything like this, I think I'd be really into Metal Gear. Is that a mule boot? No, it says metals. But there's definitely a guy there. When infiltrating a mule camp, crouching will help reduce your... Holding your birth will make you harder to detect. Okay, one guy there. Are there any other dudes? I might be able to sneak up behind this guy. Okay, here we go. Get over here. Gotcha. Give me your medals. Whoa. Is this all the stuff that they stole? Can I take all of this? I can, but I probably don't have the space on my back. Oh, dilemma, dilemma. This is why I need a vehicle. Okay. We're going to take this. And we're going to take... Benjamin, you lost a lot of stuff, buddy. We'll see how much of this we can take. Climbing anchors. We don't need that. Let's take the boots. And we'll take the resources. How much of this can fit on my back? Okay. <laughs> okay, forget it. Let's uh let's uh un unequip some of this stuff. Let's unequip the boots. Let's unequip Is this this big box? Which one is the big box? Okay, that's that. That's you. That's you. And that's you. Okay. Maybe we don't need the resources. 200 metals sounds pretty heavy. Ninety-five. Okay, this is about what we have. We'll rearrange it in a second. We already have mule boots. Yeah, we're good.
Okay, not seeing any other guys. Take one quick look around this camp before we rearrange. Alright, let's go. Alright, we gotta rearrange now. I think we've cleared out this camp. <laughs> We're gonna have to rearrange now. There's way too much stuff on my back. Okay, so what's at the top there? Is this in order? I don't think it is. Okay, so it's in order by... The bottom one is what's at the top. Okay, that's perfect. So... You... 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 Okay, and then it sort of goes off the rails there. All you stuff get offloaded. Fantastic. Now, what's the skinniest thing? You. You're pretty skinny. Great. Car printer. Oh, you sort of throw off everything. Maybe you go closer to my back. Okay. Okay, yeah, that looks better to me. Okay, something else can fit in there, right? What about these boots? Perfect. Now, special cargo device. All this stuff should be able to fit now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. My boots are almost dead. Look how beautiful that is. We did it. Now we can go. We're still a little overweight, but we got it. Is there anything in that cave? What is that? Memory chip. Ooh. Let's get over to whatever that is. Is that inside the cave? I don't know. I kind of want to go see what the memory chip is. I probably should put a sign here saying that this is good for time fall. To get out of time fall. Even though I don't think there's any time fall in this area, but still. How do I do that? There we go. Um, right here. Shelter from time fall. There you go. My first sign. At least I'm pretty sure that's my first sign. Memory chip. How do I get to the memory chip? Oh, there it is. The core Sam, members of the British team. If you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. Well, that's good to know. Alright, we don't need an extra ladder. I think we have enough ladders. We could grab these metals. Oh, that's so heavy. But we're not too far from where we need to go anyways. Is that a player-made post box? We can actually deliver it there. Let's get to that post box. That's actually super helpful. Oh, boy. You know what? Let's use our resources. And let's just use a ladder. Just because I don't want stuff to drop. There we go. Oh, that doesn't sound good. 
It looked like the ladder was going to drop there. What happens if you scan me? Will anything happen? Doesn't sound like it. Thanks, Ryan. Okay, we're good. Alright. Make delivery. Lost cargo. Special device. Confirm. Prominent Porter. Oh, so we went up to another level. So now we're considered a handler. People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon for basic orders. But with time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. You have reached mil miscellaneous grade 10. You will now receive more likes. Okay, cool. I didn't check the share locker. We should probably check that. Metals. You know, I probably don't want to drop off these metals. I'll leave it. Donate weapons and equipment. You know what? Let's... Let's contribute. And let's put this in the share locker. Okay, there we go. So I think once we get back to... No, 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 I didn't want that. There we go. You will not be able to claim any cargo you place in share lockers. Yeah, I'm good. Those hundred medals is my contribution. There we go, giver of gifts. I had a feeling we would get something. Okay, now we can leave. So once we get back to deliver this printer stuff, I think I'm going to end the stream for the day. I should be streaming tomorrow. Hopefully I wake up early enough and then we'll be able to get in here and hopefully get this bike if we don't get it now. Grab a rope. They get off on delivering cargo? Everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. It made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. There it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Interesting. Always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. Wow. So people who didn't really like all the AI and technology taking over simple jobs. Okay, so he said that crystals are a little different than normal. So maybe we have to access a different menu. Let's see. Make delivery. Memory chip. You're welcome. 
The following data cannot be viewed on your cufflinks, the seven samurai. Okay. Thank you for your contribution. And now let's deliver what was requested of us. Can I print a generator? Bridges has provided design data for Bridges boots. Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another by a terminal at one of our many facilities. Okay, cool. New interview data acquired. Necrosis and the ancient Egyptian view of life and death. Two years ago, distribution center west of Capital Knot City and the Cairo Network 1. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, Larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Awesome. Distribution Sensor West of Capital Nut City has provided the following new hologram data. Bridges Guard Macho. To use this data, gain access to a level 2 or higher structure and select Customized Structure. Some of this facility's bandwidth has been shared with Sam. So now we can build more structures in this area and we just they just upped our amount of materials awesome cool well connected 25 27 what is the highest because we're going up fairly quickly congratulations sir i understand you now have access to a chiral an extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. What might like in our relationship with it to that of primitive mammals with fire? Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. All right, Hartman. Good work. Cairo crystals can be recycled at a terminal by selecting delivery and recycle. Okay, so we have to recycle the crystals. All right, so let's grab these crystals and let's just recycle them all. I'm not sure why I would necessarily hold on to them so let's just recycle them wow so i'm guessing we're keeping that thing yeah Plenty enough for research. We'll take good care of it. 
Benjamin Hancock has provided design data for the following container repair spray. Oh, that's perfect. So that can counteract the rust from the time fall. And we can build a bridge. Whoa. Chiral crystals can now be used at all UCA affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at Distribution Center West has increased. And now we can claim materials. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. And now we're a skilled handler. Continue to strive for greater recognition. I can carry even more cargo now. Oh, before I forget. This is for you. Is it a generator? Oh, the container respray. For patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Cool. Uh, I'll put it on my back. You know what? I'll put it on my tool rack. We have so much stuff. Yeah, we're done. Oh, crap. I think I messed up. There is a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Yes, sir. Okay. I think we have everything. Clay materials, car crystals. All right, I'm going to leave this stuff here because I don't think I actually need this stuff. Recycle. Let's put all this stuff in the recycling so I can get it off my back. Yeah, we're good there. New boots. I think I can just wear these. Skip. There we go. Skip. Perfect. Okay, so we can we can skip those little things. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself. And I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. So I'm thinking that we would have to bring 800 metal with us in order to make a bridge. So I think our next thing is probably going to be making a bridge. But that's something that we'll probably do in the next stream. Most likely tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save. And... We'll probably end the stream there. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube and you ever wanted to get in contact with me, thank you guys all for watching the stream first off. But if you guys wanted to get in contact with me, you could do that on Twitter at Panarios Gaming. You can keep up to date with the channel. And you can also do that by joining the Discord. Come and check that out as well. But I will see you in the next one. Later.